Welcome back, folks. Welcome to Valheim, episode four. And uh, yeah, we just got done finding copper and tin. We got to the new island over here, the Black Forest. And we are going to go undead skeleton hunting in their burial chambers because we are looking for certain cores. So we found even more copper. Man, there's like three or four copper nodes just near the beach. This is great. So this is actually probably going to be a really good area to build a, like build a base. I mean, not too, not too shabby. We want to be careful for, for trolls. Uh, speaking of trolls, let me see. I have 51. Okay. I have enough fire arrows that we should be okay if we do encounter one, but Okay, we found a sixth one right here. This is a very good island. Sometimes you find only like two on an island and you're like, man. Because you will go through it pretty quickly, especially when you get a brass pickaxe. You'll start chipping away those things pretty quickly. So we have these like stone ruins that like look like little um, castles over here. You can take these over. You can repair them and build there are undead in there and on top they don't like the dwarves so they will actually fight each other so that's why i'm not going to intervene i think this might be a troll cave yeah that's a troll cave uh the other thing you see that purple thing right there that is a spawn point for those dwarves and you can get what's called ancient seeds from them. So if we we can attack it from far. There we go. They're going to come running to me. There we go. Cool. But if you destroy all of them on the island, it really brings down the population of and frequency that you see gray dwarves being um, spawned in. And, you know, like the, the, the gray dwarf shaman, the brutes, which are really big, ugly looking guys. And the different like elite versions of them as well. So we're going to pick up some thistles. We can make the maple. We can use them in recipes. We can plant them. So we can grow more. So I'm trying not to pick up too much stuff, actually. I mean, we're, we're going to keep the ancient seeds. Because much like the deer head trophies for Ekthir, we need ancient seeds to uh, summon the elder which is the next boss and i think we need i think we need three of them if i'm not if i'm not mistaken all right so we gotta find oh there's a skeleton right there so where there's a skeleton if there's not a ruin that you can see it's probably because there's a uh, a burial. Yep, there's one right there. Yep, yep, I see you, Hugan. Thank you. So I'll make sure there's... Alright, they're coming in. That's fine. We're just going to jump right in here. They don't follow you in, so... All right, uh, I'm actually going to switch to my axe because I think it's a blunt weapon and they do, I think it does more damage. Let me see. Slash. Okay, so it's a slash attack, 6 to 10 versus... Oh. 
It doesn't tell me. Oh, here it goes. Uh, so yeah, the, the flint knife is only 2 to 4. The stone axe is a slash 6 to 10. And the flint axe is uh, 8 to 14. So that's why we're going to use this. You can pick up these yellow mushrooms. They're pretty good. You can use them, I believe, in uh, to make like light for your places, as well as in recipes. You usually will have three doors, your, your left, center, and right. They don't typically spawn anything in the main room, this being the main room, uh, but it is generally pretty dark when you come in. You can have a torch out, but I generally like to have a shield. There's going to be one right here. Okay. Uh, also, the other thing about these tombs is each one is like different. They tend to be like mixed up. So no two are going to be exactly alike. Some could be like as short as just one room. Boom, done. And that's it. Other ones will have these spawners which is you want to take out because they will spawn more skeletons so i generally try to take them out first there we go cool perfect other enemies you can find in here they're like ghosts and uh yeah they they can hit hard so this these are the certain cores this allows you to build the smelter and the charcoal corn, uh, kiln. We get some amber. We get some gold. They always have like some wealth in here. And this tells you the location of the elder. So you can see we're, we're a ways away, but there's more, much like the deer god, uh, there is multiple locations. So that's just this one right here. I mean, there could be one that's right here and we wouldn't even know it unless we came upon it. So, uh, to build the certain cores, or I'm sorry, to build the forges and things like that, they take five. So we need a total of 10. So we have three currently. Uh, so let's keep going. Let's keep looking for, uh, keep looking for more. Not saying you will get 10 in every dungeon. Sometimes you get two, sometimes you get like 15. It just really, it just depends on, on the one that you're in. So like this one, it's blocked. So it's only a left and right dungeon. There we go. We got another spawner. All right, let's get in there and let's destroy this real quick. Uh, we got an elite guy. There we go. So this guy has like a poison. He has like a poison attack. Just kind of stay out of his reach. Kind of time his attacks. There we go. And you don't even get touched. All right. We got skeletal remains. We got some more amber. And you use this for, there's like a little, um, oh, we got a ruby. Okay. There we go. There we go. Already got that one. So we have five cores, so we have enough for like a smelter. Eh, not bad. We still need five more, but. To loot all these chests. Oh, look at this. We got more people in here. Or skeletons. If you can, try to keep them in a bottleneck. Ah. Bone tower shield. And skull. Look at here's another surger core. Okay. Nothing back here. We got a mushroom. Oh, this is one of those. So some of these actually have like a second layer altogether. There 
There we go. Look it. See, that was it. Ain't much in the else in here. There's just a skeleton and a mushroom. Story of my life. Alright, so let's go ahead and get us out of here. We are officially Tomb Raiders. Ah, there's a... Ooh! Oh, you see that? That is the mountain biome where the snow is. Don't go too far up in this because you'll get hit with the freezing uh, buff and that will start hurting you. And you need mead, which is made from fermented honey uh, with some other stuff in order to make a frost mead that will give you like warmth protection or cold protection, I should say. And there's also wolves, which, yeah, they will kill, like straight up kill you in one bite. If you're not completely armed and armored and all that good stuff. So let's just keep, uh, keep on moseying back. You can build a house in the Black Forest, you know, that whole thing. But I tend to build just on the edges of the Black Forest. Um, one, you have less attacks coming in. See, okay. They're fighting each other. That's fine. If we actually can find another burial chamber, which that... Might be one up here. If I get, like I said, if I can get 10 cores all together, that'd be perfect. That's weird because sometimes these, like the black forest biomes can be really, really large or they can be really small. This one actually looks to be a very decently sized one. Oh, one thing about the troll tunic that I'm wearing, it costs five troll skins, which you can typically get from one troll. This gives me plus 15 to my sneak ability. So if I wear the troll pants, that gives me another plus the cape. That's like even more so. We got found another barrier of chambers. Okay, let's get some food. We need that stamina, we need some meat, and there we go. We do need the health, but we also need the stamina for sustain attacking. Okay, there we go. Oh, snipes. Just realized I'm down on my flint axe. Oh boy. Get this first. There we go. Okay. Hey, we found some more cores. Perfect. Ooh, I think we might have enough here. Because we found, what, six in the last one. Take all that. Take that one and that one. We have ten. We are good. We can leave. We don't need to explore anymore. I mean, we can, but we don't need to. For the moment. I think there was a skeleton there on my left-hand side as soon as I came out. I just want to get my endurance up a bit. And I can do the power and I can just run away, jump, and it won't take as much stamina away from me as it normally would. 
and it lasts for a good a good bit like 20 minutes or that me i don't know if it lasts for that long oh no no it lasts for five minutes and the recharge is 20 minutes i read the two uh the two things wrong there All right, so I'm just running along the beach here until I find my boat. I actually kind of want to go back to the... Where we parked on the beach is a really good area. Um, I think I saw a rock or at least an area that was right next to meadows, which I could build out and build an actual, like, home base area because we have such easy access to all that copper uh which we need that is a brute you can tell by his red eyes i don't want to tangle with him at the moment i mean i have fire arrows take that yeah these guys they will gang up on you but here's a cool thing if you take fire out they actually will run away from you they don't want to be next to the fire Okay, so we got some tin here. You know what? That actually might not be a bad area over there. Little island to build on. Let's see how far away am I from my boat? It's probably right around the corner over here. Just by looking at where the uh the fog of war is. Yeah, there's a lot of tin over here. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to build right there on that rock. As soon as I can get my boat. Oh, I see it. It's just up ahead. Actually, because of where the copper is and that there's such much tin, I think this island is actually going to be our best bet. And we can build a little bridge. Uh, yeah, we'll build a bridge so we don't get wet. It's got some good foundation. It's high enough so that way when the storms come, it's not going to wash right into my, into my house. I can flatten out some area. Yeah, I think this will be fun. When the raids come, I will probably be able to defend my land pretty easily. Especially if I, like, use these this wall area that they can't really climb up. And this big old rock. These rocks, actually. This would be a good entrance right here. I could build off of this. Yeah, I like that. I think this will... I think that'll work. So we got pine. And we got our fur. Perfect. I'm going to leave my boat right over there since it's within, it's within, you know, sight. The main thing though is I need to get a workbench up and covered. That almost got me. So I can focus on uh, getting my tools repaired. Because I need that flint axe, really. So actually, let's go back over to the... Boat, because I think I have some supplies that I can use for building and whatnot. Oh, right. It's up here. I was like, I guess where I put a... I knew I put a bench down. 
right, so we got more core wood. Uh, let's switch that out for this. We've got basic wood. Stone axe. We got our copper. Yeah, I think we're good. We're good for the moment. I'll show you guys how to build a bridge. Pretty cool looking. All right, that's enough. Okay, so let's get our workbench down. Put it right there. And let's get our building supplies down. So let's get the log poles. Now you can see these are from the core wood and they are very, well, they're a lot bigger. So I'm going to maybe I'm trying to think how I want to build this. So I definitely want that to go in there like this. And I'll take the long one. There we go. See how it's blue? That means it's foundation. So I can use that as a foundation to build off of. Nope, nope, not that way. I need it to be 90 degrees. Like so. Okay, and then we can take a short stubby. Throw that in there. Let's actually get rid of this real quick. We're going to have to rebuild it. Throw it down right. Come on. There we go. So let's get another short and stubby. Could also use one of these. Is that? Mm, it says it's blue, but. I don't really trust it, but we'll see. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and... What? Oh, I need more pine. Ah. Darn it. Okay, well, at least we got part of a skeleton of it, of what we need. Let's get this going here. Okay, bring this back. There we go. Do the lumberjack thing. Okay. Ah, fine. Let's move on to just basic floors. There we go. Got ourselves a nice little platform, nice and level. Uh, we could put this there just so we can get up. Uh, let's go ahead and get these put in. Yep, this is literally only for um, my workbench currently.
Oh, I need regular wood. Okay. I need like four, eight, something. That's pine. Oh. oh, I don't have any room in my inventory. Okay. Uh, let's drop the skulls. Don't need those. Let's get this roof up. Ugh. Alrighty, gotta get more. Yeah, you. I'll beat you up. Yeah, we'll make the bridge out of core wood so we don't get wet every time we have to traverse the area. So these are wood, like basic wood. And uh, anytime you find these, these just basic logs and fir trees you can get basic wood so pine 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 they're usually the really really tall ones and these ones are the firs when they have the branches that are down low so let's keep this going Yikes. Oh, I was hoping it was going to fall on him. Get out of here. This is my land. Mine. Mine. Die. Die. Get him. See, this is one of the problems of living in the Black Forest. They're constantly getting raided. Well, not, I don't want to say raided, but these guys just come, come over, start throwing rocks at your head. It's like, dude. Like, you're not going to win. This is, this is my area. Okay, that should be enough. I really need to get that, uh, workbench up and going trying to get my stamina up first because even though it's a really small amount of uh, swimming if I have no stamina uh, my life will go down very quickly okay so let's get this out of here come back up that workbench we'll put this right Right there for them, just for the moment. This is this is all temporary. Oh, nice. I didn't need a full a full thing for it. Okay. Well that just gives us more more stuff to work with. Okay, so let's think about clearing this area. I mean I love these trees, but we can definitely use the wood. And build, uh, build upon this area, and the bridge. So much easier when you when you have your uh, the bronze hatchet. Which we should be making here really, really soon. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, there's my core logs. Okay, so let's do. We need another workbench. Ah, this guy is in my way, being annoying. Okay, so let's get this built just like that. That's fine. Okay, so building, we'll get our 
and the core logs. So let's drop. Let's just drop the gold at the moment. And these guys are all coming at me. All right, there we go. Okay, so is it because we're at weights or what? We got regular wood. Okay, drop the amber pearl. I need these. Thank you. Let's get this one more going. I actually think that this would actually be better for my bridge using that rock because, again, using the foundational... Um, points it'll be more stable and less prone less prone to damage so let's see we got we'll get that there we go come here dude you just got shanked, yo. All right, we'll bring this back up. We want it to go that way, like so. Okay, and we just need some. Okay, so I have a little trick that I can do here. Let's bring the hoe out. And we're just going to raise the land. Boom. Now that counts as being stabilized. So I can bring this out. I can bring this out. Make it just level up. Great. Let's get the... This going in here like this. Of course, that's going to be tough. Now I can then do these wood beams at 45 degree angle coming off there we go that counts as being stabilized and that just makes it even stronger so if I bring this out See how it's still green? Now it's going orange and red. So if I do another one, it should fall off. Yep. So this tells us that... Now that turns... Mm. Oh, it's not touching... It's not touching the... Um, it's not touching the ground. Alright, so we gotta find... Spot where we can build this that it is... Or we can also do a short and stubby. And then come back with the long and hopefully... Yep, see how it's green now? Because these two are like intersecting. And then we can take another 45 degree. And then bring this over as well, kind of like a trussle. There we go. And then we'll take another short and stuff. Uh, there we go. There we go. See, now it's in the ground. It comes up. It's green, green, blue. All that. Actually, I don't think... Oh, no, 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 no. Darn it. That was not the one I wanted. How about I just get both of them out? Somebody just hit me.
All right, that looks like it's pretty well in there. Okay. Now we can start working on the downstairs, or I should say the downward level area. Ah. Oh man, I need more wood. Well, I can just kill these guys and get it from them. We don't run away. There we go. Come on, all I need is one more piece. Thank you. Just get in the water right here. And we're set. Okay, so for the moment, I mean... It works. Can't really ask for more than that, right? All right, guys. All right, guys. Well, that's going to call it for this episode. I'm out of time. Catch you guys later. Uh, again, check out the Discord. Check out the Instagram. All the good stuff information down below. Um, yeah. Catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.